In this video, I'm going to show you the correct way to format an external drive for a Mac. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for today's bonus filmmaking tip. Okay filmmakers, you've got a brand spanking new external hard drive, but you're not entirely sure how to make it work seamlessly with your editing setup on your Mac. As you might know, when you buy a new drive, it'll often mount on both a Mac and a PC because companies often make the factory default setting Mac and PC friendly to get you up and running quickly. But this format is not ideal for you. Ideally, you want to format your external drive specifically for your needs and your computer before you use the drive. So the first thing you should be doing right after you pull that drive out of the box is to format it, even if you see it pop up on your desktop when you plug it in. Formatting, put simply, means to prepare the drive to be used by your operating system by deleting the drive's existing data and setting up a specific file system. So, in case you missed what I just said, formatting a drive often deletes the drive's existing data, as in erases everything. I'll repeat, formatting often erases everything on the drive. So, make sure you have anything that you need from that drive backed up elsewhere. All right, let's dive in. For this demo, I'm working in Mac OS 12.0.1 Monterey. So if your operating system is older or newer, some of these items may have moved around. Okay, first plug in your drive. You should see it pop up on your desktop. If it doesn't, check the drive's packaging to make sure it says it's Mac compatible. Sometimes you can see your drive in the disk utility even if it's not showing up on your desktop, so if you don't see your new drive on your desktop right now, stay with me. You might still be okay. Next, click on the finder in your dock. The finder is the blue smiley face thing at the top, and navigate to your applications folder. To format your drive, you're going to be using a utility called Disk Utility. So in the Applications folder, scroll down to the bottom and find the Utilities folder and open it. And inside the Utilities folder, find the application called Disk Utility and double click it. Now when Disk Utility opens up, you should see two drives on the left side. One is your Macintosh hard drive, which is your computer's internal hard drive. You don't want to touch this one. And under that, by the external tab, you should see the name of your new external hard drive. This is the one you want to touch. The name here is usually the brand name of your new hard drive. So click on your external hard drive and make sure it's highlighted. Then at the top of Disk Utility, click on Erase. You should then get a dialog box asking if you want to erase the drive. Here you need to do two important things. The first is to give your drive a new name. And the second thing is to choose the drive's format. So first, type a new name in the name field. I often name my drive after the project I'm working on, or sometimes, as is in the case of this demo, I have multiple drives that I'm formatting, and I label them sequentially. So I'm on drive 3 right now, and I'll name mine WD03. Okay, so once you've picked out your name and typed it in, go to the field below that and select the Mac OS Extended Journaled option from the drop-down menu. Mac OS Extended Journaled is the best format for people who are using their drive for something like photography or filmmaking, and who are working on a Mac. Very briefly though, here is a rundown of what the other formats are. The APFS is a Mac format that offers strong encryption, but in most cases for filmmaking or photography, encryption isn't that important, so we're not choosing these. Mac OS Extended Journaled here is the simplest non-encrypted format, and we're choosing the plain old journaled option because we want to keep it simple. If you choose the case sensitive one, your drive will consider the folders PROJECT and ALL CAPS PROJECT to be two separate folders, and I just find this to be confusing. You really shouldn't have multiple folders with the same name, ever. It's just a recipe for disaster. So choose journaled, and below that are the PC formats. MS-DOS FAT is for a PC drive that's less than 32 gigs, and XFAT is for a PC drive that's over 32 gigs. If you're delivering media to a client who's on a PC, XFAT would likely be your choice. 
All right, so those are the others. So as mentioned, you want to choose the Mac OS Extended Journaled here. So choose Journaled and hit Erase. Then you'll see a blue line going back and forth as Disk Utility erases and reformats the drive. Then once it's finished, hit Done and quit Disk Utility. And then you're ready to use your drive. And you should see your freshly formatted drive on your desktop with the new name that you gave it. And that's it. Easy peasy. All right, let's quickly do that bonus tip. Today's tip is don't overstuff your drive. In order to work properly, your drive always needs a little bit of free space. That is, space not being taken up by your files or media. How much free space does it need? Typically between 10 and 15% of the drive's capacity. And if you don't leave this free space on there, the drive could crash or possibly become unusable. And you could lose everything. And you don't want that. So monitor how much room is left on your drive while you're working by clicking on your drive and hitting Command I to bring up the info window. Then look at the capacity and how much space is available. And if you don't have around 10 to 15 percent of the drive's capacity free, move some stuff off that drive. Because as we all know, it's better to be safe than sorry. And 10 to 15 percent of free space means being safe. All right, friends, enjoy that new drive. And if you have any other questions about formatting or you want to see any other tutorials relating to filmmaking and Macs, leave a comment below. And lastly, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.